Hey, what's going on you guys? Your boy Josh Bev here. This is where you go for all things hammocks if you're new to the channel. And today I'm going to show you what to bring if you're going on a hammock hike. Let's dive right in. First up, a hammock. Now you can get plenty, there's plenty of hammocks out there. This one was only like 35 bucks. Um, it's a travel hammock, obviously. No spreader bars in there. It's called an apex hammock. Hammocks can range anywhere from like 25 to like 70 bucks. Now if you're a first time buyer, you really only need to spend around 25, 35 bucks. Uh, this thing holds up to 400 pounds, so you'd be fine with this. This one actually has a built-in uh, mosquito net, so it's pretty cool. Of course, when you get a hammock, you need hammock straps, because not all tree lengths are created equal. Um, I advise you to get hammocks with multiple strap-on points so you can hook up and have a correct lay. Um, it's going to be up to you what, what you want to decide what your uh, most comfor comfortable position is. Definitely when you're going out there, check the weather. If you're not too sure about the weather, uh, bring a tarp. This, this was only 20 bucks. Uh, tarps can get really expensive too, but this this is uh, this will do. It's 10 by 10, and yeah, it will cover you in case it rains or snows out there. And you should definitely invest in a underquilt. It's definitely good for a little colder temperatures. Definitely, definitely good to bring uh, if you're going to do an overnighter because it drops down over overnight, and this keeps you warm uh, from the underneath. These are about. Uh, 75 bucks up to like maybe 200 bucks, but it's definitely worth the investment. It takes up a lot of space. Uh, you can see my bag here, it takes up most of the space, um, but definitely worth it. Uh, just get a bigger bag if you can't fit it. And if you don't get too cold easily, you might not need one. Now, I bring a inflatable pillow because the more stuff you carry, well, you, the more you're going to be comfortable out there. This thing inflates to about this big, and uh, yeah, it's nice to have a pillow if you're reading or looking on your phone, because when you don't have a pillow, your head's going to be back and you want to hold it up, so this will do the job. And of course, you want to bring uh, a water bottle, some type of water bottle. I have a stainless steel water bottle because this is good um, in case you have to boil it for any reason. If you got to purify water. Let's do the job, but don't get one that's vacuumed or insulated. You can't boil that correctly and it could actually explode. So just get a single wall uh, stainless steel water bottle. And you're going to want to bring some food. After a hike, you're going to be uh, a, little, uh, a little tired, so you want some food to get replenished. Sometimes I bring uh, camping food and I bring a little cooker. Um, and then you're going to need some extra water to cook. Now you might get bored out there, so bring whatever you like. If you got your phone, that's fine. If you want to bring a book. That's pretty much it. That's all you really need. Those are like the main essentials for a hammock hike. Uh, if you want to do an overnighter, you're going to need a couple more things. A sleeping bag. Um, the fire starters, all that. That's a whole other video. But if you just want to go on a day hike, this is about the size the bag you need. Uh, I think it's maybe 35 liters, but if you're going uh, farther hikes overnights, you want maybe like a 55 liter, but that's all you really need. But yeah, I mean, that's these are the main things you need, and uh, I'd say go out there and start hammock hiking.
All right, guys, I'm all uh, cozied up in my hammock. Pretty easy setup, as you can see. Now I'm out here in the woods all by myself. And I'm going to upload a video uh, on how to find nice spots, uh, like stealth spots, so you cannot be bothered. You know, if you want to go to a park, you don't care about people and dogs and angry relatives, go for it. But I'm talking about if you want to know how to find a good spot and you won't be bothered, uh, I'll up upload that video too. Click here to subscribe. Watch the uh, previous video here. And I'll see you next time. Peace.